So today we're headed down to Pioneer Place Mall in downtown Portland. Every week a bunch of us get together and do a hike or a roll. During the winter months, however, we usually run around indoors at malls and places like that. We had about 10 people show up today and it was kind of interesting to run around and see how access for that many wheelchairs in one spot works. One side note, this is a mall, so there is quite a bit of background noise. I don't think it's too bad, but if you're sensitive to uh, mall background sounds, this may not be the video for you. But anyways, hopefully you enjoy. Okay, it's time for another hike at the mall. I'm kind of in a hurry because I took a route to get here that was a little bit slower than normal, but I gotta run upstairs and meet someone real quick. So we're gonna do that, and then I'll come back down here and grab all my stuff. Oh, I see him. All right. Almost opens to 90 degrees, close enough. I guess this is kind of actually a fancy mall. Yeah. It's just in a really weird place. Yeah. I need some coffee or something. My stomach's like, yeah. Well, I don't think eating coffee is what you do for hunger. Sure, why not? Kung Fu tea. Do you think that means coffee? <laughs> Is it offensive to ask? <laughs> Let's find out. Hey, do you guys have coffee at all? We do. Um, we have like latte and we also have like a coffee milk tea. So. I'm just looking for like either straight up hot or cold coffee with some cream or something. Um, we do. Or is it all like pre mixed? We do milk. Milk? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have any other places where I can get that coffee at all? Like a Starbucks or something? Um, oh, is there a right outside? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Oh. There we go. Right across the street. Okay. So there's Pioneer Place. It says it's in this building. Yeah, because that's the exit right up there. All right, well. I know, we're here like an hour early. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I think Mike usually gets here pretty early too. The place we meet is normally right up here at this entrance. Yeah. Yeah, it shows. That's the door, and that's. You first or you first? Uh, you. There's room to go in and turn around. I think. Yeah. Ooh. Your mid wheel. Hey, I said he was going to be here early. <laughs> okay, I'm super confused now. It says it's right there, but it's clearly not. I'm just going to call him. Well, maybe that explains it. Random question, you seem like you work here. I sure do. Is there supposed to be a Starbucks somewhere here? Um, the closest one is at the square. Okay. So you go up two blocks. Because it lies and says there's <laughs> one right here. We used to have two, and then oh. the one on this corner where the vacancy is. Oh, okay. The closest one is now up on the okay. two, two corners up. Okay, thank you. So there used to be two of them here and another one across the street. And now the closest one's at Pioneer Square. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna run up there real quick. You guys want anything or? I just can't get over how disgusting the ground is. <laughs> Inside of this one's usually pretty small. Oh, actually it's fine. It's empty in there. Usually it's filled with people. I did knock over this one railing that used to be in here though. Used to be. Yes, used to be. <laughs> 
Let's just double cap, not two of them. Awesome, thanks a lot. No, you'll you'll probably be five ten, maybe or something. Five foot three to the point of your, uh, five foot, about five foot three to the point of your hat. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you do today? I got here. Some guy with an iPhone in a mall measured me. Uh, oh, that's pretty close. It says four foot ten. Really? Is that? I guess that's almost five feet. I'm Okay, we gotta find a tape measure now. Let's <laughs> wait. So I know three feet's about yay five eleven. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, all the elevators, it's gonna be a trick with us <laughs> moving around this mall. It's gonna be like three yet. trips. <laughs> Hi. Have you found a bathroom that works? Oh. Um, there's one. Food court. There's one uh, on this middle level right here. So just, see where that wood grain is right next to the escalator? St. Laurent. It's right attached to that. It's a uh, single stall, but if no one's in there, it works. I've been to two so far. One's out of order, and the other one's got someone. Oh, really? I think this is going to be about as close to a mall takeover as we've gotten recently. <laughs> so I'll go in and turn around and hold the door, and then you'll be able to get past me. Assuming it's not filled with strollers. Or Josiah will be on it. <laughs> Food court. I'm gonna turn around and sit right here. We got room for one. Let me get over here. Hello? Yep, you're good. Did uh, Amanda and... Uh, hey, you're good. Yeah, Franklin went outside to grab someone and we're just gonna meet it down there. But we have so many people now, it's like three elevator trips to go anywhere, roughly. All right, you guys right back. Food uh, to go, and also an order of the. Do you have crab puffs? Uh, these things, but not tofu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. No, but. Yeah, so it just fits the bag, and it's like poking out on the corners. I watched him putting it in there, but. It's See, it's like jammed into the corners. How did they get that in there? And why is there corn in this? <laughs> is it not supposed to have corn? I don't know. I've just never seen Kung Pao chicken with corn before. There we go. There's like a press fit. Franklin takes the cake for the most mud on a chair, I think. Mud? Yeah. That's, that's actually pretty spectacular. <laughs> yeah, look how clean his is. <laughs> You're coated. We gotta go take over the calendar store. Okay. Well, when everyone's done. <laughs> To the smallest store with the most narrow aisles. <laughs> Straight ahead under the escalator to the right. Ooh, is this narrow challenge? Do you think I can do it? Should I slow down? A viewer made that and sent it to me. <laughs> A viewer made that sticker. <laughs> he sent me like four of them. So it's gonna get 10 of us in here. Plenty of room. It's become like that snake maze game pretty soon where we run into each other on the different aisles. Wow. Plushy and awesome. Wait, how much are these? 25 bucks? Oh, snoozimals. Oh, they're like sleep pillows? Oh, it's a little... Wait, is that a bird or a whale? I think it's a penguin bird. Then, then. Oh, penguin. Oh yeah, penguin. Well, I kind of got a whale 
Let's stay. It has some sort of tuxedo. Oh, and a sloth. We need the pig. Yeah. I do enjoy that when we get a whole bunch of wheelchairs in the store, everyone else has to figure out how to walk around us. Because the default answer of turning around the second you see a wheelchair is not an option anymore. I know when we were up They're in everywhere. that corner when we first got here, people were coming to that corner and like turning around. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's like, where do we go? Good luck with that. You're going to have to walk past. Yeah, we don't want to be that close. <laughs> Did you say many arms and legs? Many arms. Okay, I'll just leave that there. So we always would go up to Vancouver. It's the world's tiniest leaf blower. Oh, isn't that great? I wonder if it actually works. It says USB powered. I'm like, can I, can I blow up? I want to have one of those days. They're pretty cool. <laughs> it's just I funny. Have a tiny one. Mine was like this big. Nice. Look at the 13 tiny bucks. Tape measure. There, the tiny tool Wait, there's a tape measure? Where? Tiny toolbox right there to your. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's only one meter, though. <laughs> we were trying to measure how tall we were earlier, and you're using our phones. <laughs> Wait, how? They have a measuring app on them, like the newer, the newer iPhones. iPhones. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how that would work. That's so Leaf blower. Cool. Isn't that great? It's USB powered. You can plug it into my chair. Oh my god. Look at 13 bucks. Just, just enough to where I don't want to impulse buy it, but I, I kind of do. But I feel like I would immediately lose. I don't I know can't if, play regular drink anymore. Uh, I don't like drink it just because it crashes and it's really loud, but. I think I need if, this. If you do it on a. On a uh, a foam surface, not only I set up a leading right tower right of houses. bricks. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's a good idea. Yeah. The slightest <laughs> breeze. <laughs> Push it over. Yeah, I just set that up. I'm gonna see if it lasts till we leave. All right, I'm gonna buy this leaf blower. I wasn't expecting to buy a leaf blower today, but <laughs> there we go. All right, seven seventy nine. Does this thing have tap on it? It does. Let me get it pulled up for you here. Oh, seven seventy nine. It was cheaper. You want it? Oh yeah. I just always assume those they're like permanent signs and they don't mean anything. I don't need the bag. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, confirm. Yes. Thank you. Do you have any scissors by chance? Yeah. Uh, tin snips. Yes. All right. You ready for world's tiniest leaf blower? I'm gonna plug it in. Try the permobile port on my chair. That's got an on-off button. All right. We're gonna try and see if we can blow up the the USB charger on my chair. And plug my lights. Which way does that go? This way? So much pellet stove dust on my chair. Oh, okay. Four more the edge? Yeah. Does it blow? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, it does. <laughs> it smells weird, but... It's a leaf blower. <laughs> That's great. Now, anytime we go up to a table, I gotta, like, dust it off first. Uh-oh. Sure. I think I've fried the, the USB already. The USB port doesn't like it. Let's try it again. Um, uh, either it broke or my chair did. We'll see here. I'm sure just hooking a motor straight up this is probably not. But, uh... Okay. So I might need to grab a battery from the van. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Seven dollars, totally worth it. Excellent. Well, there you guys are. I got the world's tiniest leaf blower. Awesome. I'm going to get a battery bank from the band. Everyone's still in the toy store over there. What's that? The battery bank? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Do you have one? <laughs> I had it plugged into my chair and it worked a couple of times, but either I broke this or I broke my chair. Oh no. But my, I plugged the, these lights back in and they still work, so. Oh, sweet. Let's see here. Ah, it works. It works. Oh, awesome. It's a $7, the world's tiniest leaf blower. <laughs> Great. She, she blow the, she oh, she, she won't like this. No, she won't. Blow the hair off here. Oh. 
It moves it around. Yeah. She's like, uh, I don't know about that. Yeah, it's kind of blowing it off a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, we need to go fill that place up. We've only got six people in chairs in there. <laughs> Oh, it's it's wind wind resistant. Oh, you gotta get the timing just right. Walkie talkies with excessively long antennas. Yeah. That's funny. Wait, did you get the ice skating thing set up yet? What? I was just telling him. Yeah, that's what we're gonna work on. Oh, you don't have it set up yet? No, no. Okay. End of February. Okay, but cool. We need time, we gotta have 15 people. Yeah. That's your arbitrary limit? <laughs> At least 15. We, 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 we get the best deal we got to pay for. Oh, gotcha, for the best Other deal. Than that, yeah. But I'd like to get 25. But I think a soccer chair on the ice would be pretty interesting. <laughs> so all three of us bring soccer chairs? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's my thought is they might not move at all. I really want to try this chair and see how it does on the ice. You get to be in the photo this time, John. Look at all these people in wheelchairs just lining up on this wall. <laughs> Gotta grab a battery pack for the camera. Starting to go dead. Well, it's down to 19% and with this GoPro, they tend to die pretty easily. Well, anyways, this Hero 9 Black's getting kind of old and uh, started getting fairly glitchy, so it's a good idea to keep a battery pack on hand at all times. Okay, back to the group. Yeah, we've actually got 10 people here today. That's a pretty good turnout. I was like, oh no, how am I gonna find everyone? <laughs> That's easy, just look in any direction. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I did too. Okay. This show Max had it drifting in front of the chair. Oh, so that one is pretty easy. Um, so instructions for drifting. Start by pushing one direction. Make sure you got, well, make sure everyone's out of the way. Here, I'll show you. So start by holding one direction and then slowly start pushing it forward as you're just like a little bit and at some point, one tire should break loose. Let me get out of your way. Come on, chair. All right, there we go. Yeah, so straight one direction, or just all the way one way or the other, then slowly start pushing forward. Oh. It's tuned too slow, I think. Oh, yeah, your turning speed's too slow for it to work. No, no. Yeah, that one says no. The bolt just like turn. Um, I know my turning speed is so slow. Like, yeah, even if I did that about the same. Yeah, I tried to adjust it on that thing, but the program was so, programming on that was so weird. I didn't want to mess with it. Yeah, no, I think the, the chair is kind of weird. So. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, that's how you normally do it. We're going all the way up yonder, where it says Regal. That looks cool. We should be able to get three in here. Whoa, seizure sign. Huh? I'm just filming cameras, filming cameras. Yeah. Yes. What did you say? I heard my name. Uh, hang on, just a hang on a second. Oh, here, I'll just go over here. There we go. Someone will have to hit the button, though. Can you hit four? Yeah, we made it. The little ants down there. Well, you can really feel the building moving up here. Oh, this is really moving. Feel it? Maybe it's because of the escalator. All right, we're all up here. Now what? <laughs> We've seen the highest level. <laughs> oh, the carpet's pretty cool. I mean, you can ooh and ah the carpet. I'm not going to buy popcorn this time, though. Oh, I think this is a gate right here. Yeah, this is, this, this totally opens. We'll just put that back. Nothing to see here. I don't know, I've never been to this theater in a chair before, so I don't know what the accessible seating looks like. So how's the, uh, how do they look in there? 
the big one's okay. Yeah. Because the, the um, we could we could park in front of the seats. Yeah. But the small ones you can only get four people in. There. Oh really? And because uh, if you park in front of the seats, there's no way anybody's gonna get by you. Oh, gotcha. So, so it's that narrow. Yeah. Is that the biggest one there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Bridgeport's my favorite. Um, if you're at the four big theaters, you take the elevator up top, and then there's room for. Technically, probably six power chairs, but you could squeeze a couple more in on the ends. But the nice thing is, nobody's walking up there past you, because you you come in down below, and they can come up if they want, but no one else is going to go out those doors up top. And there's a single person bathroom up there, bathroom up oh. there too. Another thing about that, if you put four power chairs and then there's two people, the three people behind you are not going to be able to see. Yeah. Right? They're not going to be able to see. They're going to be like that. Uh. And Bridgeport's pretty coached up on it too. If you're going to premiere and there's a line out the door, they'll let you and your friends in first and go up the elevator to the top. Oh, so right. you don't even have to wait in the line yet. Nice. <laughs> so Bridgeport might be the deal to do. They, they cost a bit more, part. but they're, it's worth it, I think. Does it cost more? Yeah. And it's a Regal, right? Yeah, yeah. It's got to be on the main um, four theaters that they have, though, the big ones in the middle. Okay. As big and complicated as this mall is, it's pretty quick to actually get around in here. So you come inside, grab a bag, put it in, walk around. Don't use a bag, not gonna have a good time. See, he's frowning. High quality. Oh, that came off way too easy. Um, there we go. Yeah. I just find this awesome that people not in chairs have to like figure out where to go. <laughs> uh, yes, the tables have turned. <laughs> we go to the Apple store, I think it's open. I'm just wondering if they're gonna leave this cage around the Apple store or not. I mean, it looks temporary for construction, but definitely doesn't fit their brand of a clean aesthetic, that's for sure. <laughs> and plywood ramps. No trespassing. Oh, security's flagging him down. There's a security guard right there flying down the ambulance. Inside H&M, huh? Someone passed out at the Amazing Deals. That's where I got this hoodie from. Yeah, they cut the roof off that thing. It's got a pop top on it. Never seen that on one of those before. That's true. Yeah, that's like a West Philly conversion on a... Honda Element, weird. Yeah, that thing's interesting. I've never seen that before. Someone spent a lot of money on that. Huh. Oh, it's got suspension too. Different control arms. Weird. Did you guys go visit that weird bathroom in the square or something? I had ended up going over to Nordstrom's because oh, really? everything at the square was closed. Oh. Starbucks didn't have a bathroom when let me in. I went down to look at the TriMet sign and it's like, the closest bathrooms are multiple blocks away. And it's like, yeah, so I had to go on the second floor at Nordstrom's. Yeah, they redid the whole bathroom in there and it's like this weird commingled thing now. <laughs> There's just one bathroom for everyone. See you, John. So it's still only costing 250 to go all the way from here all the way home? It's whatever Lyft charges. Yeah. They just contract with Broadway. Yeah. That's pretty cheap. Yeah. I think it's at either 250 or $5 or something. Something like that, yeah. Well, these cab drivers don't mind it too because they drive so far that they get paid a lot more. Because they, they charge their normal voltage rate and then Lyft makes up the difference to them. So that guy's probably going to make like 50 bucks or 60 bucks or something. <laughs> yeah. Especially, yeah, right now the traffic probably sucks. It's a long trip. There is no direct route from here to out there. Oh, the traffic's quite good today. It's a holiday. I forgot. You would think, but not always. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> not always, but it shouldn't be. Yeah. Yeah, we like to come in. Or do we? Okay. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I do enjoy when it says disabled entrance and then there's no buttons. <laughs> Thank you. 
I got it. I got it. Don't worry over me. Don't worry over me. Thank you. You got it? So now we find out what this place is. I think we're just supposed to go in circles until someone makes us stop. I can tell because I have sorted soups. Mm. Sniff the soap. It smells interesting. French clay and geranium. Like halfway through the bar, and all the scent is just gone. Yeah, then it's like filler. Ooh, lavender. Extra that says lavender right on it. Extra strength. Oh, yeah. That's very pepperminty. Is it like weird to sniff the soaps? I don't even know. There's like tongs. <laughs> Whatever. I'm down for bowling a china shop. <laughs> Yeah, it's mechanical pencil. That's awesome. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ha ha ha. It, it goes in. Oh, I'm so sold on all this. I'm gonna leave with so many off supplies. Wait, do these fit in there too? Yeah, I remember these in there too. Oh, this is awesome. So what I was geeking out on there, um, you couldn't see it on camera, but I'm a weirdo with office supplies. It's really hard to find little notebooks like this that have an elastic strap that is fastened and has like a nice hard cover on it. Um, these ones are just like sort of a dotted page. And then these ones are lined notebook paper. But the cool thing was this little pencil. This is a mechanical pencil. It's like, I, I, I don't know, like I said, I'm weird with off supplies and it fits in here perfectly. And then the larger ones was another mechanical pencil, sort of like an engineering style one that has the, this is very heavy on the end and has a very fine point. They're 0.5 millimeter. Uh, this one has room to store more lead inside there, but um, yeah, they, I put this piece of tape on there and it ripped the cover. But anyways, yeah, I, I had to get some notebooks when I was there. <laughs> What are the chances they have these in a 14 here? <laughs> I, I don't think that. I don't think they go up to that in Japan. This is a nine, so. <laughs> yeah. They'd be clown Sorry, shoes. The yeah. Oh, there they are. Yeah, you're out of luck, buddy. I think up to 11. <laughs> that claims to be 11. Can I do this without spilling everything? I don't think that's 11. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's a little, yeah. little different. A little. It's a large eleven. It's a large eleven, though. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Have a good one. Here, I'll pop through and I can grab the door. Or, yeah, I'll get through first and hold it out. So. the S curves down. <laughs> I haven't quite gotten my turning and everything down yet. I was trying to do it quick so the butler didn't come back. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> oh, that was weird lighting. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? Everything's the wrong color. <laughs> huh? oh. oh, they had some weird RGB like daylight oh. stuff under that door there. Right. Jump for that. Jeez. Didn't see that till it was too late. Oh, the squire. That's what she said, squire. Get out of the way so it's not on a hill. <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta go over and shout in the corner. Have you done that? 
full echo box, supposedly. And people outside of it can't hear you. Did you go right in that thing? Yeah, there's a spot in the middle you go to and you shout forward. You can hear yourself really, really well and people outside can't hear you. You have to get right on the spot in the middle, though. You gotta be on the spot. Yeah, so sit right on that spot and face forward. And then just, like, start talking. <laughs> the cool thing is it doesn't carry outside of this. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah, then just say something. Isn't that weird? <laughs> Acoustics are fun. Little mini amphitheater. That's, I've never experienced that. Yeah. Something. Just you gotta stand right on that spot and then look that way and say something. Oh, is it? Yeah, stand right on that and then just talk. 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 And then it kind of it like echoes weird? back in your ears. You have to, you have to be facing like that way, but yeah, it's weird. <laughs> Yeah. That's why those uh, Roman uh, amphitheaters and stuff like that could be could really get have actors without mac without mics. Yep. Yeah. It's all designed properly. Yeah, before yeah. mics, we had all other kinds of ingenious ways to project voices. One of my friends used to work down here for security, and people would go there and just yeah. like screaming and yelling and all this stuff, and you couldn't really hear it outside. <laughs> I haven't done it forever. Might as well try it again. Attention humans. Oh, this is really strange. I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up or not. I haven't, I haven't tried this in a long time. <laughs> nice. That's so weird. Would anybody want to take part in that? What's the deep life question? <laughs> or is that the surprise? Uh, it's better with the surprise, I think. But if sure. you just want to know the question first, that's all right. I'll go for it. Okay, cool. Do you mind if we film it? Yeah, go for it. Cool. Do you care if I film you? Sure. Yeah, okay. that's fine. <laughs> yeah, oh, you're GoProing. Nice. Oh, yeah, always. So, the question is, if you were able to go back in time and give your younger self any piece of advice, what would you say? Uh, let's see. That would probably have to be keeping some stock that I sold a long time ago and not selling the Bitcoin that I sold at 625 a coin in 2017 because <laughs> the amount I sold would have been roughly 2.1 million dollars right now <laughs> so I've got the ticker on my watch right here so I can always keep an eye on it but yeah probably uh stock in bitcoin yeah awesome well, thank you so much no worries anybody else want to give an answer same question yeah same question uh, same question same. no all right oh, we're good I hope everybody enjoys their day all right have a good one see you I love stuff like that because I have no idea what I'm going to say and it's, something comes out of my mouth. <laughs> if I plan ahead, I can't do it. And I can't do that. I'm like, the last week question, I'll just be like, uh... Yeah. Can I get back to you in 8 to 10 business? Yeah. <laughs> the ramp on this side has a hell of a bump on the end. You don't see it until you hit it. <laughs> Oh, is there room for you? Oh, okay. Oh, you got Barely. it. <laughs> I'll try not putting my ticket in twice this time and hopefully it won't charge me 28 bucks. I'm glad you knew where you were going to. You to go inside. <laughs> yeah. Hey, here it is. There you are, and hear me. Okay, Alright, see you later, man. Random Halo S music in the background. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's people singing. Weird. It is? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. And there we go. A day at the mall. That's freaking $22 again. Man. Jeez. Jeez.